Okay, um, today we are going to, uh, we have a code for slope, so the definition function for slope, uh, x1, y1, x2, y2, is del x, which stands for delta x, which is, uh, well, first off, the slope is rise over run, so it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So delta x is the change in the x, which is x2 minus x1. Delta y is change in y, so y2 minus y1. And then if delta x is equal to 0, uh, it's going to just create a couple different problems. Um, you can't divide by 0, as we all know. So um, we're just going to return 0, 0.0, because if delta x is 0, um, the slope will be 0, 2. Uh, we could probably float the numbers down, so it would still return 0, 0.0, but we'll just do it with this if statement, and everything else is going to be, um, I use dx, just, mm, dx, it's not a derivative, but it's, uh, slope, so anything with slope, I just always call it ddx or dx. So we'll name this variable dx equals delta y over delta x, which is rise over run. And then we're going to return the dx. Now we want to use a definition uh, for intercept, but we want to use the slope as a helper function. So um, slope is y equals mx plus b, a uh, just simple linear um, equation. So uh, why not just put where mx plus b, slope is m, x is x, and b is the y-intercept. So um, let's define the intercept x1, y1, x2, y2 as b equals negative slope times x1 minus y1, which is just um, y equals mx plus b, uh, you know, rewritten to solve for b, which is the y-intercept, and we're going to return b, and we're going to print the intercept um, right here. Um, so uh, question 13 asks us to run test on these right here to get um, this intercept right here, 1, 6, 3, 12. 1, 6, 3, 12. Let's run that real quick. And it gives us 3.0, and theirs is 3.0. So we're going to run one more, 6, 1, 1, 6. 6, 1, 1. So we're going to run that. We get a slope of, s or intercept of 7. Um, and then the last one is 4, 6, 12, 8. 4, 6, 12, 8. 4, oops, 6, 12, and 8. Here we get this y-intercept of 5, and it looks like they got 5 also. Um, and really, any you can put any number in here, because the domain, um, unlike the first one, where x couldn't be 0, uh, delta x couldn't be 0, uh, the domain of this really is uh, all real numbers, you know? So anyway, that is slope and intercept.